Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to replicate Google Authenticator two-step authentication codes to a new phone. This can be useful for when you get a new phone you need to switch over to and don't want to have to go through the process of adding a new device to each account already set up. This is also something you can use to help create a backup device for your two-step authentication codes. Without a backup device, if your one device with Google Authenticator gets lost or corrupts, you will have to use recovery methods to gain access to your accounts. Just keep in mind that if you plan on having a secondary device for backup of your Google Authenticator codes, that you make sure to secure that device as well. To get started, you'll need to have the Google Authenticator app open on both phones. On your phone that already has the account set up, click on the three dot menu in the top right hand side of the screen. Next, click on Transfer Accounts. On the new screen that opens, click on Export Accounts. After authenticating against the Google Authenticator app, you'll be presented with all of the accounts currently set up which you can select for copy. By default, all accounts are selected. If you want to transfer only specific accounts, you can unselect the ones you don't want to copy now. Once all of the accounts you want to copy are selected, click on Next. Now on the phone that will be getting the accounts, open the Google Authenticator app if you have not done so already. If this is the first time opening the app on the phone, you'll need to click on Get Started. On the new screen that opens, click on Import Existing Accounts on the bottom left hand side of the screen. When ready, click on Scan QR Code on the bottom right hand side of the screen. You'll now need to scan the QR code that is on the first phone. When successfully scanned, you'll get a message saying to go on to the next code. To do this, click on Next on the original phone. You'll then repeat the scanning of the code. After scanning is complete, you'll see a list of all your multi-factor authentication accounts listed on your second phone. You can now click on Done on your original phone. You'll notice that at the top of each phone is a blue banner indicating that the accounts were either recently imported or exported depending on which phone it is. I'd love to know if you are copying your accounts over as a means of backing up your codes or just because you got a new phone, so let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps YouTube know that you enjoyed this video. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to be one of the first to know and release other tech and smart home related videos just like this one. Thank you for watching.